So you want a head for a backpack? Huh? I ain't giving it to you, but I do know someone who can help. Jumping right into it, here's our melee setup. Just copy what I have here if you can, and if not, you can swap the face guard for a helm of knees. It is not? I don't know. Bring your best stab weapon, I bring the hosta, and you don't need the Carol skirt, I just like the way it looks. You could also bring Torag or Obsidian Plate Legs instead, and we'll talk about the amulet in a minute, but if you don't have one, bring a Fury or a Glory instead. And before I forget for the helmet, you could also bring a Serpentine Helmet to negate the Venom damage you will be taking. Now for the range setup, this is what I like to bring. You can swap the helmet for whatever ranging helmet you may like, or the Serpentine Helm as we spoke about earlier. Now the Verox just looks sick in my opinion, so that's kind of why I bring it. Again, you don't need the skirt, you can just as easily bring Black Dehyde, and if you don't have a Ring of Suffering, go for an Archer's or whatever you can conjure up. No biggie. You're a big boy that's made it this far into the game, I trust you know what downgrades and upgrades for these setups would be. Bring your best crossbow along with Ruby and Diamond Bolts Enchanted. I use the Ruby for about half of the fight, and if you have full Void or the Elite variant, I just bring that over this armor. Don't get too caught up in the inventory, it's not a big deal, just bring a boosting potion like a super combat or a ranging pot, a few prayer potions, and the type of anti-fire potion you may have. Have, preferably an anti-venom if you're bougie, and if you're white trash like me, just bring an anti-poison or an anti-dope for the two sips. Key item here is the Slayer Staff. Make sure to bring Crumble Undead and turn the spell on the staff before you go. This way you can just equip the staff and kill the spawn quickly. Other than that, you can just bring a teleport to Relica. I use the house teleport so all my runes are nicely in the pouch, and I don't gotta worry about it. Okay, so the Salve Amulet EI just means it's enchanted and imbued. It gives a plus 20% damage and accuracy bonus against undead monsters. This does not stack with the Slayer Helmet, which is why I don't recommend to bring one, but it does stack with the Void Knight Armor Set, so bring that armor if you have it. And if you don't have this amulet, then just bring a Slayer Helmet when you're on task, or even a Blue Dragon task counts as well. And here's a little wiki clip if you forgot how to get this. So here's the range fight. I tend to keep my run energy off as Vorkath shoots this acid stuff and it can mess you up pretty badly if you're running through it. Just pray protect from range and shoot. Once he shoots this fireball, just walk two tiles away and you're going to be just fine. The spike balls are his range attack and the purple blast will take your prayers off. Be mindful as the acid spit. For this, we're just going to walk around and we're not going to walk on the acid. <laughs> as long as we're moving, he won't be able to hit us with a rapid fire and if you walk on the acid, it's going to heal him slightly. The blue stuff is the magic attack. The green blast will throw some venom on you, and this right here is very important. This icy blue blast will be the cue for you to put on your Slayer Staff, as while this freezes you, it also spawns the alien thing. You will one hit this little alien, but make sure not to attack Vorkath during this phase on accident, as you'll get smacked for some good damage if you fail to kill the spawn. So, I mean, that's kind of the mechanics, just rinse and repeat. Here's the melee kill, didn't want to do the whole thing because it takes so long, but stand next to him, poke and pray mage, otherwise same stuff. I'll briefly show you the Wooks walk technique, and if you're just getting a kill or two with this setup, I mean, you're not going to need to do all this, so. Basically, it's just hitting and walking away, so the rapid fire attack doesn't hit you. You're not in the venom, and you are dealing damage to Vorkath during this phase. The only way I can think of putting this is, make sure you're not in the venom spots. Click on Vorkath for the attack, then click on a tile out from the highlighted marks behind you. Once the true tile marker lines up with the yellow squares, attack Vorkath, then repeat. You could also just click Vorkath, walk back a couple squares, click Vorkath again with like a two ticks in between. But I mean, this is a non-sweaty budget guide, so I'm not going to try and go into too in-depth here. Honestly, just walk away from the Venom. With this setup, it's not going to make a giant difference anyways. Also, if you don't know about these highlighted squares, nor the true tile indicator, go check out my Bandos guide. I cover a lot more in depth in there. But that's pretty much the guide. Hopefully it helps and y'all can exchange some head for the blue backpack. Thanks for watching and good luck.